Welcome to the Health and Physical Education Curriculum Guide, and we are going to go over and discuss uh, the different fitness and wellness options students will have uh, once they get into the high school. First class that will be offered uh, for incoming freshmen is ninth grade physical education. This is a uh, graduation requirement. It must be taken before students have the option to kind of pick and choose their electives moving forward once they become 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. A lot of the items that we will cover, the topics that we will cover, deal with fitness, team sports, and racket games. In 10th grade, every student is required to complete a health course. This is another graduation requirement. We look at throughout the course of the quarter, emotional, physiological, and social health issues. We uh, rely heavily on discussing things like drug, drugs and alcohol, as well as relationships and mental health. Driver education and safety education is also a part of this requirement for graduation. This also lasts for one quarter and it is split between your health and driver's ed time for the semester. This course prepares students to become responsible drivers and there is a very heavy emphasis on studying from the PA driver's manual. As you progress past those required courses in ninth and 10th grade, you also have the option of taking additional educational, physical education courses in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. These courses are designed so that way once you leave Elko High that hopefully you find something that you enjoy to do actively and can continue to do once you leave the high school. They are adventure activity, net results or racket attack, tag which is team aerobic games strength training optimal performance which is a strength training two creative movement one and two and a piaa officiating course strictly for 11th and 12th grade adventure activity are course activities that include such things as orienteering team building challenges trust activities walking frisbee golf and shuffleboard this also will curtail to a field trip to Camp Refreshing Mountain, which can inc incorporate zip lines and rock walls. Next, we have net results and racket attack. This course is exactly what it sounds like. There are a lot of nets and rackets involved here. So people who enjoy things like tennis, pickleball, table tennis, volleyball, team handball, and badminton, this would be a great option for you as those are the main focal points of this course. Team aerobic games is definitely for students who really enjoy playing team sports. This is a competitive environment. These are activities that will get you moving and have you competing at a high level. Some of the examples of activities that we may play during this course would be flag football, soccer, softball, floor hockey, basketball, sticks ball, which is basically lacrosse, volleyball, handball, gator ball, and speed ball. Strength training, this is going to focus solely on strength and muscle growth, okay? It does not include games or rec recreational activities. So this will be a great class for anyone focused on fitness and would love spending time in the weight room. Students will participate in intense strength training, aerobic training. They will see and produce strength gains with the program that we will provide for them and improve their overall health and well-being with this class. Optimal performance, uh, very similar to a strength training two course. All right, the prerequisite for this is a 90% uh, or higher in a strength training uh, class for approval. It is designed for any student who really enjoyed strength training and really excelled at that. Students will have the option um, to create their own workout programs based on goals that they will set for themselves. Um, and course activities will include Olympic lifting, endurance training, speed, agility, and quickness training, and also metabolic conditioning. The next course is for individuals um, who are more into the dance themed activities. Uh, Creative Movement One is designed to give you alternate forms of fitness activities such as Pilates, kickboxing, some aerobic stuff, yoga, core exercises, circuit training, and dance choreography. We will also be incorporating um, social dances where you would have a partner such as like salsa, cha-cha, swing, and those kinds of dances. 
Creative Movement 2 is building upon what is learned in Creative Movement 1. It is only available to 11th and 12th graders. And this will include not only improving skills that you've already learned in Creative Movement 1, but we will delve a little bit more into research for historical dance forms, ethnic dance forms, interpretive dance, and more in-depth choreography if you like that sort of thing when doing dance and creating your own. And the final elective course here is a new course that we just began offering uh, called PIAA Officiating. It is a course where you will learn the basic re requirements, knowledge and skills, um, as well as the mechanics necessary to become an official in multiple sports. As you can see, the sports listed below are soccer, basketball, and then baseball and softball. So this is a course where we would go through, learn the rules, learn the mechanics, you can actually also sign up to take the officials examination for that sport. And if you pass the exam, you would be considered a registered official. There are some age requirements with this. This course is only for 11th and 12th graders. And you do have to be 18 or a high school graduate to take the PIAA officials examination. However, the PIAA has actually offered to waive the fees for that exam for those students who qualify and are willing to take it through our course.